Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Iker, editor of Astronomy. This time we're going to talk about an amazing mystery of the cosmos, quasars. Well, what's going on with these strange objects? Back in 1963, Caltech astronomer Martin Schmidt was working on a mystery of a faint optical source that matched up with a very loud radio source that was blaring in the radio part of the spectrum. And this was very confusing. How could something that was extremely far away be emitting an immense amount of energy? Well, this really confused astronomers as they found more and more of these objects over time hundreds of them. They were called quasi-stellar objects, or quasars for short. Well, eventually astronomers found, after 25 years of confusion, that these were the centers of very distant galaxies that had supermassive black holes. Material was falling into the black hole, but some of it being accelerated out toward us at very high speeds and very high energies, and that's what we detected. So these are young, furious galaxies that are forming in the early universe. We can see that signature as quasars. You can see the brightest of these quasars, 3C273, with a medium-sized telescope that's in the constellation Virgo, good in the springtime and summer skies. So get your Celestron telescope, head out to a dark sky, and you can see the brightest quasar, a distant signature from another galaxy, another set of worlds on the edge of the cosmos. A great mystery solved. I'll see you next time.